If you're looking for more control with your GeoDirectory's listing website, you're gonna to wanna to learn about dynamic content. Dynamic content is basically just content that changes. A good example that works really well with a directory website is dynamic content images. That way you could make a dynamic content element that says, take the images people use on their listings and place them here. This is great for listing owners to upload their own photos and to show them on the listing pages. I know this can sound a little confusing, but it's actually really easy when you use Elementor Pro to design your GeoDirectory listings website. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so since I already talked about dynamic images and photos in the description, that's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna show you here. So if you go to your Elementor widgets and you look for under basic uh, widgets, you have the image, you drag that onto your site. And then from here, you go to where it says choose image. Usually you'll click this choose image button and browse, but you can also click this icon here that says dynamic tags. And now you have a bunch of other options. Featured image is used often, and in this theme, it's actually used for the background image here. But you also have a geo directory setting where you can choose the image that's uploaded in the GD image field. I want you to note that this does work for galleries too, so let's delete that and then come ahead and search up here for gallery, drag that in. And then when it says choose images, instead of clicking that button right there, which you would usually do, you would again click this icon for dynamic tags. And then you could choose either the post image attachments or the GD gallery field. And if you have custom fields, they would be there as well that can accept images. In addition to dynamic images, you can also work with dynamic text. This is done right here in this title tag. Uh, if you see here, the post title is selected. I can close out of that. And from here, we have the regular title um, text box where you would input your title. Again, click that dynamic tags button and then choose post title to get it back. And then you see you have a bunch of different options here, including some geo directory options. I'm just gonna plop it right back to the post title. Note that you can also do dynamic links by clicking again, the same icon right next to the link. This is great if for whatever element you have on here, maybe you want to um, add the URL of your listing and you'd be able to do that by clicking right there. You can also show or hide elements depending on dynamic content. That's done for these badges here. If you click on one of these badges and then you go to advanced and you see that for the CSS class here, we have GD CSS hide condition. That means that um, if this listing was claimed, the badge shows up fine. But if this is empty, if it hasn't been claimed, then this badge won't show up. So if you have your own custom field set up, this CSS class makes it so you can make your own badges. The easiest way to do that would just, I would just duplicate one of the existing badges. And then from here, you would go to advanced. Next, click this little gear icon to go to settings. And for key, you're gonna choose which field you want this badge to affect. So if we're doing something like the verified badge where if the field is empty, the verified field is empty, it doesn't show, you would click key and choose whichever field you want to be empty and then keep the condition as is empty. So if that field is empty, the badge will not show up. There are also other conditions you can use here. And then after that's set up, you can style and move this button um, just as you would style or move any other element in Elementor. And that's it. You now have more control over your Geo directory website and can modify it to fit your unique needs. 
If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll help you out. If you're building your own website, make sure to check the description to get a free download of my nine step website roadmap. It will help you with everything you need to do when you're putting together your first website. Thanks so much for watching.